everybody, it's Gilbert Nichols. I just want to come to you uh, talking about the, uh, the five things you need to get ready to become a firefighter. If you'd like to be able to sit in this coveted seat, the one here behind me, that's for people riding backwards in most cases, that will be uh, uh, in a fire truck. Uh, you've got to be able to uh, meet certain criteria. And uh, the first criteria is you've got to apply. And so you get down, get online, apply at your local county or city fire department and, uh, and see if you qualify uh, to, uh, to even be an applicant for the fire department. Uh, number two is you're going to have to be uh, uh, you know, sent to the fire academy where you will learn all the different, uh, different sciences there are to a fire, to uh, your responsibility as a firefighter, and what you can do to become uh, more uh, uh, useful when you're on a truck that you can work as a team and you know, you know what each person does and what they can depend on you and you can depend on them. Watching their back so that you can secure their, uh, their place in, uh, in the unit so that everybody comes out alive and everybody comes home. That's what's important. Number, th number, number three is after you get done with the fire academy and you pass the P PT test, the physical uh, training test, you pass the, uh, all the uh, curriculum involved, then you get a, to go to another school unless you're pre-trained. And that is a school for paramedics and uh, EMT or emergency medical technician uh, certification. Because nowadays, 80% of all fire calls that are going on in America are more of a rescue related. So you want to be prepared and, uh, and certified in that capacity before you can do uh, any type of uh, uh, service on a fire truck. You never know when you go out if you're going to be fighting a fire or if you're going to be uh, extricating somebody out of a vehicle or you're going to be dealing with a heart attack or a drowning that you've got to know what to do and do it fast and not rely on somebody else. That's why the, uh, the, the Fire Academy now uh, gets people transitioned into the EMT and paramedic training. And uh, if you have that prior to application, that puts you in a better position than somebody who's not. And also, once you get that training, then you get assigned to a station, that wherever the station is. And you get to uh, be assigned to a particular uh, position where it could be that uh, if you've uh, you know, have certain certifications. You can be able to uh, operate certain aspects of the uh, vehicle, which we'll cover in another video, that will entitle you to, uh, you know, some, taking some dominant roles when it comes to the services uh, required in an emergency, uh, where it's, uh, whether it's swift water rescue, whether it's uh, dealing with somebody, uh, you know, operating a particular type hose, uh, you know, the pumping, of the water, uh, just every every capacity. You see, I'm I'm not well versed in all of this, but I uh, I just want to tell you that these are the things you need in order to be a uh, uh, a qualified servant. And another aspect that uh, definitely getting more and more prominent today is being bilingual. Uh, today we're dealing with so many people that are from uh, Latin America as well as uh, Europe and uh, Asia. And we need people that are bilingual that can be able to get that uh, uh, message to the people to get them out and get them into safety. And, uh, and people are uh, in dire situations. They need to know that they are, uh, you know, that they are being, you know, ministered to by these public servants in such a way that they'll assure confidence that everything's going to be all right. And that's what uh, the the true. Um, participant in a uh, fire services has to do is be a true servant uh, so that they can be able to do their job in the right way so everybody comes home safe, everyone gets out of the fire safe, and, uh, and we can continue to live in peace. And so that's why we appreciate our fire services. So uh, lastly, if you want to, uh, to know more about this, to go online to the uh, respective fire department uh, websites for the county and city and find out what you need to do so that you can be physically, mentally, spiritually, and um, 
and practically ready to enter the fire service as a firefighter. And you have a great day.